<sighs> My name is Patrick. 2,190 completed prayer shifts tells me that he's going to find it right here at Building on the Rock Community Church. But what do we do when we've been labor laboring in prayer so long and have yet to see any fruit? Jesus says that we are to keep praying. I was recently passed a book that told an encouraging story of the power of the persistent prayer of faith. While on a crusade in Haiti, Pastor Machesh Shavda experienced a wonderful principle of healing. One night, a young woman brought her born blind grandmother up front for prayer. As the anointing of God hit this woman and she hit the floor, as if Shavda had hit her with all his strength, although he barely touched her, he said that he knew something happened to her. But as he would help her to her feet and ask her, how are you, Grandma? She blinked her eyes and said, I can't see. He told her to come again. And she did. Each time for the next five nights, the same thing would happen. Again and again, being led by her granddaughter, knocked to the ground by the incredible power of God, and still without sight. Until the seventh night, she came up just the same, knocked to the ground, helped to her feet, and asked once again, How are you, Grandma? I can see you clearly, she said. God had totally recreated her eyes and given her sight for the first time in her life. A few months later, while driving in his car, through the eyes of the Spirit, Pastor Shavda began, began to view scenes of the times he prayed for that Haitian grandmother. As the woman would come up for prayer in each service, the Lord showed him that there was an octopus-like creature with seven tentacles wrapped around her eyes. Each time he prayed, the anointing of God would hit her and knock one of the tentacles off. During the second prayer, a second tentacle. During the third prayer, a third tentacle. During the fourth prayer, a fourth tentacle. When finally the last night she came forward with a single tentacle wrapped around her eyes, he said it was like a spirit of blindness, the main demon that had kept her bound in a world of darkness. When he prayed on that last day, it came off and she could see clearly. You see, when we remain persistent in our prayers and under the anointing of God, something happens. Something always happens. You may not see immediate fruit. The enemy would have us get discouraged and lose faith. But I say, keep faith, church. Keep believing, be encouraged, and keep praying because God is surely moving on the behalf of his children who remain persistent. My name is Patrick Nixon. This has been a Paul Shapiro.